Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I'm on Corleone, and we are in Permafrost. So, I've been trying to mix it up a little bit by changing where I go. Um, probably around 25 or so, I'm going to end up hitting up Miss Moore, maybe, something along those lines. I try to stray out of the norm as it is being that i am a clerk probably killing undead is the best for me but uh i really like to explore the world and in different places that i can go i did on the other hand the other night kind of break my code uh whenever i'm in a zone and i'm just playing corleo and i'm not recording them or anything I usually keep where I can read what people are saying, and then if there's someone that I want to talk to, uh, or somebody asks me a question about my clerk, I usually type to them OC, and then the message that I want to relate to them, meaning that I'm not talking to them as my character, but I'm talking to them out of character. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I, if they are a non-high elf then i would probably treat them pretty rude in my my uh normal language which is elder elvish and they probably wouldn't understand what i'm saying which is kind of the point but the other night i was in um in uh unrest as everyone does around the 20s and it was very barren and there was a small group at Fireplace, which uh, had Resentment and also Soxki, I believe. And we ended up grouping because it really just wasn't anything else going on. You know, I don't mind if I make a little bit of experience here or there with a, a group of people. Uh, because it's not really going too far off of my my uh, my plan. Ended up having a great conversation with them in voice because they invited me to voice and really great group of people. So I, uh, I I hung out with them for the rest of the night and had a blast because I did do my OOC talk to them and the whole time i was in a group with them there was this other shaman that was there and he's like what the heck is going on <laughs> because i'm only talking in elder elvish in group it's not that's the way it is but now i'm in discord so i i don't have to worry about um the language gap but, uh, yeah, just probably an hour or two. It wasn't like I was um, in a power level group or anything. We were working together. We were more talking about fashion quests and the way my equipment looks and, and that kind of stuff. And just showing things off. By the way, if you ever want me to do a full walkthrough of everything that my character is wearing, I'll do that. Because I really like my character and I spend a lot of time on them. So permafrost is really enjoyable. Um, if you can get far enough in, I was kind of going slow. And uh, this is kind of a short recording. But uh, if you go a little bit further in, I think, than I did. Or even to where I had gotten, uh, you have a chance of getting high quality ore. It's also uh, something that you would get in uh soul a off of those goblins uh but yeah i i know it's so far out of the way but i still expected at least one or two people to be there uh but there wasn't and there still hasn't been since i've been out there but i'm really enjoying the experience there so i'm probably going to spend a little bit more time until i am ready to move back over i i am bound in fade arc i really i actually have not changed my bind point from the day my character was created so anytime i need to go back home from pretty far away it's really not a problem for me the cleric i'm finding as i go along is kind of 
harder than I expected it would be soloing because of the fact that they really have no mitigation, no matter how much AC or hit points you have. And the fact that uh, they I do have clicky legs that can heal me, I tend to uh, heal myself with my bigger heal just so that I can uh, sit down faster and, and med. And um, I believe at one point I'm sitting at a rock kind of getting into the area where I want to be. And I start getting like attack from behind and so on. So uh, yeah, it, it was a little bit harder. And I'm trying to make sure I keep all my skills maxed. Um, you may have noticed that I was buying wounding. I don't know if I, I did that in this video, but I, if I can get myself below 50%, then I have a, a small mana's plant to heal my, uh, heal myself by buying wounding. And while it is impractical for a cleric to be buying wounding when they have spells, clerics do get the ability to max out their buying wound skill so it's more of a personal min max kind of thing that's going on it's not that i would have to get my buying wound up it's just that i want to because i really am wanting to max every skill that character can do uh including at some point maxing out all their languages just because of the fact that um uh, well i say that uh but what I mean is I want to max out Elder Elvish, which I think I'm pretty close. I think I'm at 98%. And then, um, and you just, once you have it, all you do is learn it by practicing it, by, by speaking it. Uh, also, I want to learn Dragon, that kind of thing. It's not something that uh, you ever are going to need to use in a quest, at least in this version of a request. But in EverQuest 2, you did need to learn Dragon to be able to uh, to do a quest. Um, I believe it was in Lava Storm or in one of the dungeons off of Lava Storm. You go all the way up to the uh, to the volcano and then go down and see this maze and uh, speak to I think it was Nagafin maybe. Because Nagafin, this Nagafin that I'm talking about was not a killable dragon. It was a dragon that you had to speak to in dragon language. And then uh, it allowed you to continue a quest arc that I'm pretty much everybody who's ever played EverQuest 2 knows about. I just cannot personally remember what that uh, quest arc was for. I think it may have been for your mythical um, your mythical weapon, which is like your epic weapon here, that kind of thing. But yeah, I, I'm trying to uh, max everything out. Uh, I ended up, after I got done recording this, went outside and asked if I could hit the, um, the ice giants with my two-hander from people who were soloing. And uh, one of the people was a shaman. They said, yeah, you could do that. I was like, okay, cool. Well, they were just sticking their pet on the, on the mob and dotting it down. So I would get in there. I'd swing a few times and I'd have to back out and heal myself. So it really, I may have gotten like five skill points while I was doing that. The other person was a wizard who was holding out the other two ice giants. And so I had to run behind the ice giants trying to hit them while they were nuking them down. So it really didn't do very well for me in that kind of uh, situation. <laughs> that said, uh, I do I do like hanging out with uh, people around the world in the game and just... If I can't even talk to them directly, it's it's kind of one of those things where um, I find a way with either OOC directly. Which, so when I say OOC, is, I'm not going to say it in common language, like, out loud. I'm going to say it in direct tells, in out of character, because... What's the point of saying OC if you're telling everybody about it? You know what I mean? 
So that's why I kind of OC uh, to the shaman uh, that. But then I continued my Elder Elvish whenever I was talking to him that way. So it was it was one of those things. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Just working on the cleric still. He's level 23 now. The experience in permafrost is really good. I think it's 144%, which is the highest currently in the game and that is why druids will go and do lower dogs until level 60 so um of course you have that caveat anyway guys hopefully enjoyed um i will be trying to put out at least more than two videos a week but i am pretty slow on on doing that but i am enjoying playing my my characters again and enjoying um showcasing them so hopefully you guys enjoyed thank you so much this is cypher deck peace out